Electric current is a measure of the flow of electric charge. Precisely, it tells you how much charge crosses a surface per second. It's usually denoted by little i and defined as dq over dt, which in terms of units is coulomb per second, also known as ampere. Now, if we have a steady state and the current is constant, then we tend to denote it by uppercase i. And it is then equal to delta Q over delta T. But be careful, this assumes a steady state. Now, to get charge to move, we actually apply a voltage across a conductor. And if you remember, we said that a conductor has a bunch of free charge, as in charges that are free to move if we apply a voltage to this conductor. Now, the truth is, if we apply a voltage epsilon across this conductor with the positive end here and the negative end here, well, the only charges that can move are the electrons. And the electrons are going to move away from the more negative side, and so they're going to go this way. So that's the reality. Historically, however, we thought that the positive charges were the guys moving. And we didn't really have a way to check our guess at that point. Um, so even though it's not the case, historically, we decide, and it's just a convention that everyone uses, that the current is given by the motion of the positive charge, even though physically it's really because the electrons are moving. But we'll see that that will not have much incidence on the problems that we solve and the problems that we look at in this course. Just remember that I is generally dq over dt, unless you have a steady state. And the direction of current is the direction of the motion of positive charge, or if you prefer to remember it this way, opposite the direction of the motion of the electrons.